Chelsea nil. Aston Villa won. Ollie Watkins with the lone goal this game for Villa. Gets him the win. 73rd minute, like I mentioned before. Um, Malaguso had a red card in the 58th. It was controversial. It didn't, in my eyes, really look like a red card that bad. Um, every Chelsea whatever will tell you they looked really, really good this game. They had some chances. Uh, I love them. Raz, go somewhere else, buddy. It didn't work out. It's not working out here. It didn't work out. Um, and then I had two other things, and I'll, I'll send it to you guys because I feel like I – wax unpoetically about Chelsea every week and people are probably tired of hearing me one whoever is telling Potch what to wear you need to be fired right now double breasted on the sideline with that body type doesn't work trust me I've done it all right you got to be more of a triangle shoulders got to be bigger waist got to be smaller you look awful and the blues don't even match plus you paired it with orthopedics on the feet Straight black orthopedics with a two-colored blue top, double-breasted. You look like shit. Um, and then the one thing I will say to add to this is on TikTok, I was interacting with a creator who has a lot more followers than we do, uh, but her name is Melina Dadovich. Dadovich? I definitely got that last name wrong, so I apologize to her if she ever hears this. Um, she's got really, really great content. She's a big Chelsea fan. And I, I posed the question that we said last week. I said, yo... I'm not trying to be a troll. I really want to know your take. Do you, would you rather be Chelsea or Man United in this very moment? It was before the match week started. Um, and she said Chelsea because she said at least they're built for the future and they have a plan with younger players. I don't think anyone on this podcast agrees with that, but I wanted to throw that out there because it's a, it's a take that I have not really heard in all honesty. So um, I know that Dylan's really respectful and nice, and I know that Michael really, really wants to go. So let's go to Michael first. Um, I, I want to just real quick on that. I think just because you have young players does not mean you're set up for the future. I think we all understand that. To I think the she meant there's degree, a plan. There's a plan to a degree. Is, is there? Is more of what, well, I, I would question that too. But I, if I'm going to question that, I would invite her on and be like, hey, like we're not going to attack you. I promise. It may sound like it based on listening to this segment, but, like, what plan? I don't know, man. But go ahead, Michael. Yeah, uh, I, I just, you know, they miss on, like, almost every transfer, it seems like, except for, like, I would maybe say Enzo Fernandez. Um, that being said, Chelsea, now officially with that Everton win, tied on points for the worst team in the Premier League in 2023. The 2023 table... They've played 29 games. They have 29 or 25 points. Everton, 25 points from 27 games. So Everton can actually make up. Uh, they have two games in hand. They can make up some more points on that. Um, just wanted to go through some more stuff here. Lukaku, three goals in September. Chelsea don't have any. If they don't score against Brighton, this this uh, EFL Cup, they will not have. I'm sorry, Nick. They will not have a. Uh, Goal for a goal of the month for the second time in a calendar year, by the way. Let me just put that out there. Um, I think I sent this. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. It's all the same I points. Can't... <laughs> well, I mean, they're everywhere. They're literally everywhere. Um, John, I think I sent you this one. They haven't beat a top 15 team since Spurs two seasons ago. They haven't beat a team that had existed in the top 15 at the time of them playing. That is crazy. And then... I want to just get to this point, too, because we have a Man City person here. We have a Manchester United person here. I have been plagued with injuries as a Liverpool person. Chelsea, according to Fop Mob, not <laughs> nine injuries. I would argue three of them are maybe, are maybe in your top 11, your first 11. Manchester United have eight. And I'm, not, I'm counting Amrabat, too, because he played, what, a minute? Like, yeah. he just got back from injury. I would argue four of your players are in your first 11. And then, John, I looked at yours. Five players injured. I would make the argument that maybe all five of those players are in your first 11. So I don't know where Chelsea think that when these injuries come back, they're just going to take the league by storm. You are fucking delusional if you think that. You guys are 12 down. You have no shot ever of being in the top 10. 
you are a mid-table ass team, maybe a bottom team. You're not going to get relegated, but your year's going to suck again like it did last year. I hope you're ready for that because I can't fucking wait.